Hey guys, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Automation Testing Studio. So in this video, we'll see a question related to Selenium. So in the previous video, we have seen a similar question. So today's question is uh, how to click on an element without using the uh, click method of web element. So this question interviewer asked to understand how uh, whether you have worked uh, practically because uh, yeah, there comes a time when uh, with a traditional click method uh, the element will not be clickable so you have to do something for that so there are other workarounds for that so uh, to understand that interview asked this question so today we'll see how to uh, do that what is the way for that so in the previous video similarly we have seen how to enter the text on in uh, uh, text box without using the send case method. So similarly, uh, this uh, question is of the same type. So main thing is that if any of the question that comes without using the traditional methods in Selenium, the one thing you have to do is that you have to uh, know that it can be done using the JavaScript executor. So the interview intention was to check whether uh, you knew about JavaScript executor and the methods present in that and how you uh, use those methods so let's see with a practical example so i'll use a sample program to demonstrate that so what we'll do we'll create a class for that i'm creating a class and uh, let's give the name uh, click without click okay now let's uh, Let's take the main method and uh, click on finish. So what we'll do, uh, whatever example I've taken in the previous ex uh, previous video, we'll take the same one. So first what we'll do, I'll write the code to launch the browser. So we'll use the browser. So what you do first, we'll set the property of the Chrome browser, system dot set property. Property name, key name is web driver. Dot property value will be whatever uh, path wherever your Chrome uh, is in your uh, project. So my Chrome driver is in the root folder. So what I'll do, I'll give dot slash Chrome driver it is present in the root folder. I have given the path like this. So next, what I'll do, I'll launch the browser. So for that, what I'll do, I'll create a Classes here. Chrome driver class uh, we have imported. Now let's launch the URL. And I'm taking from my previous example. So this is the URL, whatever we have used. The same thing we'll use here. And what we'll do, we'll click on a button. So first, what we'll do, we'll go to that URL first. So uh, we have gone to that URL. We have will take this login button. I'll click here and inspect. And we can see that ID is the login. So the same thing we will do, uh, we will create a web element here, web element uh, btn equal to, what we will do, we will use find element method and we will find by using the id, our id is login. So now what we will do, uh, we will import this web element, traditionally what we used to do after finding the element, if you want to click on that, we just click on btn dot we'll use this click method okay now what we'll do instead of this click method assume that this click method doesn't click on the web page due to some issue so there has to be some work around right for that what we have to do we have to create a javascript uh, code and that has to be executed in the browser for that purpose i will uh, first what i'll do i'll type cast a driver with a JavaScript type. So we'll typecast it to a JavaScript type. You have to write like this. 
if you want to typecast so i have typecasted it to a javascript type and will assign it a reference uh, reference let's take this and it's of the type javascript executor only so we'll copy this and uh, let's uh, see let's import javascript executor here see we have uh, imported that now i need to execute any code on the browser javascript code you have to just use this method execute script and there are it is asking for asking for two arguments first is whatever script you want and second is the any arguments you want to pass our argument is a button here and our script is like it's simple how many arguments we have one so what we'll do we'll use arguments of zero and we want to click on that so i'll use not click method okay that's it so uh, let's run this if we run this uh, we'll see that whatever code we have written it will go to that page it will launch the page and it will click on the login button so if you can see here it is uh, loading that page now when the page gets completely loaded it will click on the login button let's wait for that you can also what you can do now there are other methods as well so you can uh, use uh, that as well you can explore that so for, for the interview purpose you can explain this so see here after you click on the login button as we don't have any data entered it has given this error please complete the captcha and try again so in this way you can simply remember this so anything if an interviewer asks a question without using the traditional method just go for javascript executor and find out a method whether it has uh, how to do that whether it be send keys or click or any other things so that's it in this video in the other videos we'll see much more inter interesting questions so uh, if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for further updates thank you very much and bye bye